Palm Tree, I'm just hopping on to weigh in real quick on the Joe Budden and Drake situation. So, number one, when it comes to Joe Budden's comments on For All the Dogs, and he said he was expecting some more grown man rap out of Drake, and this was a immature album that sounded like it was for teens, I'm like, well, duh, what do you expect? I mean, Drake is a pop artist. You know, that's why he got Yeet on this project. That's why he got Sexy Red. It's going to appeal to a younger generation because that's honestly, there, there's more of them who are into Drake's type of music than what a s- more sophisticated rap fan would want to listen to. I don't think that's who Drake's trying to go after at this point. You know, that last album, that super poppy dance one that I can't even think of the name of right now, that didn't sound like, you know, a mature man's album at all and why would this one so then drake with his little sensitive ass he gets so sassy and writes a whole novel back to joe budden saying you failed at music and that's why you're making comments on my music do you understand this is like the equivalency of when a nba player is in the game and he gets mad at a commentator who used to be an NBA player for criticizing the way he plays basketball. I'm like, if I was Drake, I'd be like, man, I don't give a fuck. Say Joe Budden, I could make a country Western album or a classical album tomorrow when people would still go buy it and support it to the fullest. Drake is rich. He could do whatever he wants. And listen, I am by no means a Joe Budden fan, but I really want this culture of getting upset with critics for doing their jobs to stop man this is the same reason why Dijon's catching so much flack after he puts out a report card you know from so many overly sensitive artists why the fuck are you making music if you can't stand criticism all of you want feedback all of you want support and keep in mind this is drake This is one of the biggest pop stars in the world. And in 2019, was brought out as a special guest at Camp Flognaw and got booed off stage. You understand me? So there's got to be humility even when you're at the top, you know? So as far as that For All The Dogs review, you're looking for that review from Palm. Let me tell you something about that album, man. Well, before I want to speak on the album, let me give my opinion on Drake in general. I've said it before and I've said it again. Now, the man has classic hits and some classic projects under his belt. I can't deny that and neither can you. You know what I'm saying? He is, whether you like him or not, he is kind of like the voice of our generation. At the same time, though, he's a pop artist, man. And for me, I'm always going to champion the underdog because I am an underdog, you know, so that's just not what I ride around in the car to. But there are so many great songs from Drake. There's great hits from Drake. There's great features and hooks from Drake that you just cannot avoid. But I'll be honest with you, I haven't even finished For All the Dogs yet because Drake's music nowadays, at least on this project, is like the audio equivalent of mcdonald's like you always know what you're getting it's just enough variety and it's always the same type of quality i think but at the same time it's like why would you put that in your system out of everything you could consume why would you put that in your system that that is so saturated and watered down and dumbed down for the masses you know there's just not that much substance in the music and it's just not rememberable enough to go back on and i only got like halfway through the album yeah but if i was drake i'd be like man i give a what joe budden think or anybody else thinks of my albums man if i'm i'm drake i can do whatever i want if i want to go be in a blockbuster movie tomorrow i can do that you know if i want to go on uh the talk and sit up there with jerry o'connell and cheryl underwood i can do that you know drake can do whatever he wants he can put out whatever type of music he wants he's free to do that because he's the one of the biggest artists in the world you know and you know once upon a time rappers turned podcasters the opinions of those shouldn't matter because they ain't in the same tax bracket (laughs) you know what i mean so drake just got all in his feelings and had to clap back because you know he spent so much time on that album and he had his son tell the cute little story about how his son came up with the album cover and yada 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 and drake's still a sensitive hard on his sleeve light-skinned ass nigga it just is what it is 
And apparently there's a lengthy list of all these times that Drake and Joe Budden have gone back and forth with each other since like 2016, you know. So they've always had like a little tension going on in the background. But I want to know what did y'all think of this new Drake and Joe Budden conflict. Let me know in the comments. Also, kind of think it's funny how Drake's dad jumped up in the mix. And, you know, <laughs> now Drake got his daddy commented on the shit. Like, okay. You know, it's just WWE, man. It's just, you know, this is this this the popcorn rap. You know, you just watching, watching it. Just watching this silly shit happen. All right, that's my take on it. I'm out. Peace, love, palm. You better follow Palm Biatch.